Okay, guys, I want to talk now about uh, Mary Quant, I think is how you pronounce her name. She was an iconic fashion designer. Um, she made the mini skirt. She's the one who came up with that, and I never knew that. I've been doing some reading today, and it's funny how everything, God is just putting all this stuff together for me, because I actually was reading a book about exercise, and she was very iconic in Vogue, and you know, I grew up during this time when um, a lot of women felt liberated with their clothing. And I also listened to Candace Owens today, and she's talking about modern feminism and how women are being destroyed through this, and I believe she's right. Um, I may not agree with Candace on everything, but I do agree, she, you know, with her with this. And what we're seeing is we've seen these you know, as I grew up, I saw this feminism in Teen Magazine and Vogue and, you know, hearing some stuff from my grandmother and just seeing, you know, women were now leaving the home. They, they could work. Um, and I saw a lot of this in my time era when I was born, you know, 70s. I was a teenager in the 80s. And um, a lot of this stuff was just, you know, coming out. So, um looking back now and looking at the history of this is really interesting to me. So they came out in the 20s with the flapper dress I was reading about. And that's where women started showing their ankles and um, their arms a little bit more. And supposedly because of Mary, um, women could now move and run with the mini dress and do things that they were restricted to do. So what do I think about her? Um, I think she definitely um, had some ideas that helped women. Like, um, you know, she said as she got older, clothes never fit her right. She was given clothes and they just didn't fit right. I get that. Um, I remember having a great aunt who was rich and she would give me her clothes and I just, you know, they were, they were like, old ladies clothes and here I am a teenager you know and there were a lot of clothes that I have not liked I'm very picky about my clothing simplicity and classic is ten tends to be what I like but at the same time we're seeing if women really feel like their clothes are liberating them um I think there's a little bit too much confidence in how women are putting too much worth in how they look. There is a balance. There's a balance of trying to look good because it does make you feel good to wear what you like, um, to look sexy for people. Um, I don't know that you necessarily have to do that. I mean, for your husband, yes. To um, feel more energetic and confident, yes, your clothes can help you with that. But I do feel Mary Gaunt was, um, Quant, sorry, she was like over the top. Um, I watched a couple interviews with her and she was just like, oh, I always had this look, this look that girls should look this way. And it's, it's kind of creepy to me uh, that she, um, uh, her look was like so provocative for a woman. It's kind of creepy. I think women can look nice and they can be dressed nice and they don't have to look provocative. I think they can look clean. If, if a girl looks clean, she looks healthy. She looks like she's eating well, she's happy. I think that is the look we want, not to set a girl up to have um, a lot of problems. Like when I was growing up, I was allowed to wear um, halter tops and um, anything really. And I didn't, I didn't know, you know, and I didn't think twice about it. But that was the fashion then. And um, I think now as an older woman, I'm very glad I have developed myself and I'm not depending on my looks to get me anywhere because uh, that really goes away as you get older. And you really want to end up being in a place where you really enjoy who you are and you like yourself. And it doesn't depend on what you wear 